Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. This week, we got a brand new build for the patch 925 PTR. With Blizzard looking to improve the character renown catch up when it comes to your main and your old character covenants. With this build, they're also attempting to further reduce the price of some of the high tier legendaries while also creating even more use for the anima resource. This build is also looking to improve the character gearing performance, reducing the randomness of gearing by creating more deterministic and guaranteed ways of upgrading your items for your main and old characters. And I want to take a look at all of these new updates in today's video. But right before we do that, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as to the bell if you're watching these videos anyway, especially if you want to get regular patch 925 ptr updates or potentially future wow expansion announcements with the new expansion being revealed very very soon let's start with renown improvements blizzard put up a blue post discussing various renown improvements going forward portion of these updates we have covered on this channel in a previous video but we will go over these updates very briefly in case you're not up to date first of all major change Broker's Mark of Distinction has been buffed greatly in the patch 925 PTR. This item can be bought from a broker vendor next to the flight path in Oribos. The item will now grant you 60 renown upon use instead of 40. The benefits of 60 renown over 40 is being able to fully unlock your Covenant's Soulbind traits. The current version of Broker's Distinction only gets you to renown 40, which leaves you with a little bit of renown grinding before your soul binds are fully playable. This is a nice quality of life change because it means that your character gets their capstone trade quicker and is able to join some of the end game content a lot sooner. The only thing that's missing with 60 renown are the empowered conduit slots, which take all the way up to rank 80 in order to unlock. And while Renown 60 is a fantastic upgrade, some players in the community have argued that if your main character has achieved Renown 80 with every single covenant, then you all should get the same benefit. Because doing the grind all over again is just not as fun a second time around, or a third or fourth, however many characters you choose to play. Let me know in the thoughts what you think about the Renown upgrade item, and do you think that it should be up to 80 if your main character has maxed out their standing with every covenant going forward? Besides the Broker's Mark of Distinction, Renown is also being buffed overall in the patch 925 to make it easier to grind through and remove some of the Renown RNG. Renown catch-up will be accelerated until Renown 60, where a lot of the activities will give you double the Renown in order for your character to catch up faster. Content like Mythic Plus Dungeons and Mythic Zero Dungeons will always reward one Renown. Torghast Layers 9 and above will guarantee drop Renown every single time, where some of the Layer 9 Torghast runs can take as little as 3 minutes, if you can stomach any more Torghast grinding. Raid bosses will guarantee drop renown, winning rated battlegrounds will also drop renown as well. Let me know what you think about these renown improvements and how else can Blizzard improve renown going forward. What other activities should they add to the list of guaranteed renown drops? Next, we have legendary crafting improvements. On the patch 925 PTR, you'll be able to buy from an anima vendor progenitor essentia, which is an essential item when it comes to crafting some of the higher tier legendaries that's pretty rare to find in Zareth Mortis. Part of the reason why legendaries are so expensive on the auction house is the rarity of this item. Since it's difficult to come by, you can only craft so many legendaries depending on how much essentia you have. By adding this legendary component to the anima vendor, more players will be able to readily access essentia when it comes to crafting some of the legendary recipes. And if you have enough anima saved over, you can also put up Essentia on the auction house, which will likely make you quite a bit of gold. Either way, that means more Essentia is in the game, which means more legendaries are being crafted. More legendaries crafted will likely mean cheaper legendaries going forward on the auction house. And when legendaries become cheaper, it means our mains and alts can craft more legendaries and explore different playstyles and different builds going forward. On the major server like Illidan, the prices are already pretty low. Roughly 20,000 gold per legendary depending on the type of legendary you're looking to buy. However, on some of the low population realms where only a handful of players are running the economy, 
that's where some of the legendaries are the most expensive so hopefully with this item being added to the anima vendor we'll see a price drop in legendaries on both high pop realms and low pop realms some in the community have mentioned that the price of essentia for anima is maybe a little too high and it could be made cheaper currently essentia on the ptr is sold for 25,000 anima and currently depending on your server it translates into roughly 8,000 gold on the auction house let me know if you think 25,000 anima for progenitor essentia is a good enough price or if you think it's maybe way too expensive and the price should be brought down going forward in 925. In this new build of the PTR, some players have been able to data mine items that seem like an upgrade system being planned going forward in 925. The two items data mined have been the Confounding Antique Cipher and the Confounding Ancient Cipher. Based on the item tooltip, combining 20 of either cipher will create either a Cosmic Creation Impetus or a sacred creation impetus which can be used to further upgrade your raid items either to a heroic quality or even a mythic quality gear this item currently isn't ready for testing on the ptr but it seems like blizzard is adding another bad luck protection system when it comes to raid gearing as of right now we have no idea how you earn any of these ciphers some have speculated that you earn them from heroic raids or mythic raids it's also possible the blizzard will add a way outside of raids for players to be able to acquire ciphers similar to the creation catalyst being added in just a handful of days where players will be able to upgrade their mythic plus gear pvp gear or zareth mortis gear into tier set items this could be a system going forward to allow players that aren't exactly raiding in order to eventually upgrade their gear to a higher level quality let me know your thoughts what do you think about the ciphers and how do you think the blizzard is going to implement them going forward finally it looks like gear vendors are returning on the patch 925 ptr three gear vendors have been added with this build and their titles link them to the three raids of shadowlands the sire supplier for castle nathria defense of the first ones for sepulcher and the domination dealer for the sanctum of domination as of right now, none of these vendors sell anything of importance. There's a possibility that they are added to the PTR realms just for the sake of testing. In Season 4, all three raids of Shadowlands are planned to drop competitive gear. So the vendors would be used to test how all that gear scales in the new season. However, will Blizzard adding more of either getting more deterministic gear or guaranteed ways of upgrading items? It's possible that these vendors could be here to stay. In the previous expansions of World of Warcraft, it wasn't uncommon for Blizzard to have gear vendors for the current raiding content as a way of bad luck protection. From doing the raids and doing some of the fights in those raids, you would amass a currency and you could spend that currency on the gear vendor. If you were missing one of your best in slot items, you could get a very base version of the item so that your character could be competitive in the current raiding environment. With all three raids becoming accessible, not every single player is going to be able to do all those raids in a single season. So being able to get certain specific items from different tiers for the character to become competitive would be definitely a nice quality of life addition. The only way to find out for sure is to check out the next build for the patch 925 PTR and see what Blizzard does with some of those gearing vendors. Let me know if you would want to see some sort of a bad luck protection vendor being added for the season 4 of the 925. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this update video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. You want to think about some of the catch-up benefits that Blizzard is adding in the 925 PTR. Besides renowned catch-up and raid gearing bad luck protection, what other quality of life updates would you like to see in the next PTR build? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in a link to every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you think about this video or you have any questions going forward. Join our Discord to join part of our community. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.